Yo guys, what's up? It's your boy Christian here back at you for Sneaker Talk with a brand new sneaker review on the Supreme Comfy Couch. Hope you guys are having an awesome day and today I'm excited to share with you guys a pair of sneakers that Nike sent me just the other day. We have a full review in store, so let's get into it. Now, the Nike and Off-White collection, the 10, is breaking the internet right now. If you're on Instagram and you follow any sneakerhead at all, your feed has probably been Spammed with pictures of the 10. Today I have in hand the Hyperdunk 2017 Off White. And these sneakers, these sneakers are fire. Now, the thing is, in my opinion, is this line is so different. It's so unique compared to a lot of sneakers out there. A lot of these sneakers in this collection, you're either going to love or you're going to hate. I've seen in the comment section of my other videos, the video where I even discussed the whole 10 pairs, that some people thought some of them were just absolutely hideous and horrendous and I can I can understand that perspective some of the models don't really catch my eye and I think they missed the mark on a few of them however this one right here the hyper dunk 2017 I absolutely love and I'm really really thankful that Nike sent this my way early before they even come out to the general public so thank you Nike Toronto now you might be wondering if I'm going to wear this casually because you know a hyper dunk the Nike hyper dunk is a basketball sneaker it's a performance basketball sneaker and well just take a look at these things these things I feel like if you wear them with the right outfit you can pull these off wear these with some like black mesh joggers or some Nike tech fleece pants and you have a cozy fit going on I wore these to the mall today actually and I broke a lot of necks on top of that the fact that my girlfriend thinks these are some of the sexiest sneakers ever is a huge plus now I believe the box for all the sneakers in this collection are exactly the same they have this brown regular looking box however if you look at the very top of the lid it says swoosh and this like transparent kind of font so you can sort of see it reflect under certain lighting hopefully it does come up on screen and besides that you also have some off-white branding on the side of the box right here and then on the very label of the box you guys can see the 10 hyper dunk 2017 FK I have a size 10 and I find these to fit incredibly incredibly comfortable and true to size so if you were thinking about getting the sneaker try and get your true size if you're gonna go half a size down you're gonna have a bad time if you go half a size up I think you can get away with that so when you open up this very low-key brown cardboard box it reveals a orange Nike swoosh upside down underneath of the lid and the paper is actually really cool that they include in this too it's honestly really really dope I love the fact that they gave like a special tissue paper and I know this is sneaker talk but please allow me to appreciate this tissue paper or else we're gonna have to make a tissue paper talk so let's face it these sneakers are loud these sneakers are tall these sneakers are almost like moon boots they almost have a Nike Air Mag aesthetic now I'm not saying they look like the Nike Air Mags but trust me guys when you have these on feet they almost sort of look like astronaut boots, especially if you're trying to wear them casually. Now, I'm really curious to see who is going to wear these on court, because I think that would be pretty freaking crazy. But I don't even know what retail price for these sneakers are. I want to say it's probably going to be upwards to 300 350 Canadian dollars, maybe even 400 However, right now, if you want to buy a pair early before they drop to the general public, you're looking to fork over at least 1500 to 2000 US dollars, or 2000 to 2500 Canadian dollars let's get into the sneakers now because I've been blabbing on for long enough taking a look at the upper of the sneaker it uses like this knit kind of upper sort of reminds me of Flyknit but not quite because I know Flyknit looks more breathable it's much lighter and this looks like to be a much more heavy-duty knit material that Nike's use you can actually see this like knit material exposed throughout the shoe but if you look at the very back they sort of have this like plastic kind of coating I'm not even sure what kind of material it is but there's this like weird coating on the back of the shoe and there's also that same weird kind of coating on the toe box of the shoe as well. The laces are held together by what I think is flywire technology. And then on the very, very top, you can see the regular circle eyelets. These laces, I guess, are supposed to be more of a performance lace versus your regular, like, cotton shoelaces found on a Jordan 1, for example. The shoelaces are pretty dope. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. But the shoelaces actually say shoelaces in quotes at the very, very top. I like the way I have these laced, to be honest, because it just pops out like that 
almost like wings. Now on top of the laces, they have what looks like a Nike sock dart strap going across of it. Now usually the Nike sock dart uses these two little like spheres on the, uh, the strap to buckle into the holes on the side of the sneaker. This is not the case. This shoe uses like a Velcro strap easy to take on and off. I know I struggled in the past putting on and off sock darts just because of those little balls. The tongue is quite stiff. It really stays in place, which is good. There also is some little like padding on the inside. So it really makes sure your tongue is not going to be moving all over the place. Like you guys can see, I'm trying to like push the tongue in more and it's refusing to go in more because on the inside of the shoe, there's little pockets that hold the tongue in place. Now on the side of the tongue, it actually has some Nike brand right here which is really really dope and this is a theme that's seen on a lot of the other sneakers in the 10 collection with Nike and Off-White. They come with two other laces. The white set of laces they include have shoelaces at the very top near the green aglets and the black set of laces have the same deal. It says shoelaces with quotes again at the very top of the laces with these orange aglets too. These do have a sort of like accessory that does come with the shoe. This little like zip tie tag. It's pretty dope. It actually reads off-white CO Nike C2017 zip tie in quotes. So these actually come attached to the sneaker when you receive them. And I know some people are either planning to keep them on the shoe or keep them off. It's up to you if you want to keep this on. It all comes down to personal preference. I wonder if these will have any resale value. I'm sure it probably will. Taking a look at the midsole of the shoe, you have all these lines. It's really, really wavy. And on the back of the midsole, it actually says foam in quotes because, well, there's foam in that midsole right there that keeps it extra, extra cushiony. Looking at the outsole of the sneaker, I know it's a little bit dirty right now. That's because I've worn them. But underneath the shoe, you have this creamy white outsole and then you have this orange swoosh right underneath. And that's seen on both of the sneakers. Now these sneakers, I was wearing these all day long today. They are very, very comfortable, which is to be expected out of a performance basketball sneaker. The sneaker itself actually does a really good job at locking you down. There's a lot of padding on the inside near the uh, the bottom of your ankle. So you're gonna feel like really secure in these things when you wear them. Your foot and your ankle are not gonna be slipping and sliding around. When you take a look at the booty of the shoe, there's actually like this little air vent kind of thing. It's just there, it sort of reminds me of like lips. When you guys look at the swoosh, the black swoosh on the side of the shoe, it is this like graphically printed kind of uh, material onto the very back plastic of the back and on this knit material as well and it's covered by the sock dart strap across the shoe. You guys might notice that small little detail of this like orange tag that's stitched in with some green stitching that is seen on both of the shoes as well. When you flip the sneaker around, you guys can see there's even more details on the inside but so has more writing where it says off-white for Nike Hyperdunk 2017 Beaverton, Oregon, USA C2017. And then when you look at the insole of the shoe, it has the 10 branding with that off-white logo. So I want to say overall, these are really, really dope. At first, when I saw images of the shoe release, I was a little bit skeptical if I could pull these off with my own style. However, I think I've gotten my style to the point where I can wear these with like an athleisure kind of outfit, more streetwear vibe with something like black joggers, black mesh joggers, a black hoodie, something like this. This is a black skill. Definitely going to be wearing these a ton and I might try and wear these like every single day this week before they release because whenever you get sneakers like a week early before they release, you sort of want to flex with them in public. So yeah, if you end up getting the off-white Nike Hyperdunks, I hope you do wear them. If you guys like this review, feel free to check out any of my others in the review playlist linked down below. I have a ton of reviews coming this week and next week. It's basically review month. This month alone, I'm going to be putting out at least 30 sneaker reviews. So if you guys want to discover some other sneakers to maybe try and buy or just research sneakers and look around, then make sure you hit that red button down below and hit that bell too. We're also going to be giving away a special pair of Air Jordan 1s that are customized. So yeah, be on the lookout for that giveaway. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. On feed coming up next. Peace.